It's the Eastern Conference quarterfinals on this Sunday. Birmingham Legion and Pittsburgh Riverhounds. And with the whistle, we are underway. Aravo trying to bring that down and run forward and got it out wide to Kasim. Well done from Aravo. Kasim against Rivera. Rivera took it off him and right at the breadbasket of Jamali Wade. Zach Aravo, the game's first shot on target. Griffin has options. Dixon is storming down the flank. Dixon cuts it back. Mertz an opportunity. Mertz around Kavita. Van Okel with a big time stop. The chance. Here's Robbie Mertz, a little weaving and dancing. And Matt Van Ockel somehow gets down and gets a hand on that ball. Anderson Asiadu. Kasim in a half space, finds Agadello. His pass, Martinez denied by Waits. Well struck by Martinez. Jamali Waite has his wall of four set. Martinez leaves it. Dean, Waite with another save. Martinez has his shot blocked. Little touch to the side, Johnny Dean hits a worm burner. Enzo Martinez just couldn't quite collect it the way he wanted to to get the second shot off. Roof. And that is halftime. There will be no UAB Medicine stoppage time. Free Eric Tattersall sets his watch. And away we go. Second half underway here from Protective Stadium. So Cicerone is one of those guys who has the freedom to go wherever he wants. Rivera. Mertz, his shot right at Van Okel. Off by Asiadu, who gets right to the feet of Juan Agadello. Aravo. Martinez, lovely flick. Back to Aravo. Kasim, just wide of the mark. Great. Lovely touches. Marlon Santos gets around Dixon. Well, Santos again, clattered to the ground by Wheats. A free kick given, and this might be our first card of the night. And it is. First card of the night. It... Martinez drives it in front of goal, and Waite had to make sure he had that post covered. He did in the end. Antonias hits away the service for Marlon Santos. Jake Roof has a go from top of the box and didn't miss by much. It was deflected wide for another corner. Been a real danger threat so far tonight. We'll come off as well. So Kelly and Sims now in for the Hounds. Legion don't have too many options wide. Martinez does go wide. Agadello, Kasim! Straight from the training ground, Birmingham Legion lead this Eastern Conference quarterfinal. About this. Perfect touches from everybody. And you don't think of Prosper Kasim as the man who's going to win balls in the air, but he does on that occasion. Great ball from Roof to find Kasim running. Kasim, the goal scorer. Out for Martinez. Martinez, wait, is there. And their first substitution brought on a change of shape in their team, added a defender. Now that Prosper Kasim gets a standing ovation from the crowd. Winger off, defender on. I'm sure Mikey Lopez will slide into the defensive midfield, which is his normal role where Anderson Asiadu was. And that will allow Bruno Lapa to slide into attacking midfield, which is his normal role. Ryan James coming on for Juan Agadello. But I'm sure we'll see Ryan James slide wide left. This is a defensive midfielder off. Of 
Ryan James gives it up. Sims, Mertz, a dangerous ball. Kizza scores! An instant impact for Edward Kizza. Almost immediately off the bench, he ties this quarterfinal at one. Scores the biggest goal of the year for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Behind Jake Roof and in front of Alex Cronali, he finds that gap. And a great snap header down and into the far side netting. So 1-1 one, one our score. One that pays off almost immediately for them. And again, a coach's decision changes the flow of the match. That is the end of regulation. 30 more minutes coming from Protective Stadium. And here we go. 1-1 one, one between Birmingham and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh a little bit the opposite. They've got their attacking players still on the field, but it's an all new defense. I wouldn't be surprised to see some mistakes. Martinez didn't miss the post or the frame by much. 15 minute session of this extra time. Blake Gardner, Mike Getman, glad to have you with us tonight. 1 1 our score for now. Blarby, Lopez squares it. Lopez! scores, Birmingham Legion back in front in extra time. And then you forget about Bruno Lapa. He scored goals his whole career, and as you see on this replay, he finds that little gap, just waited for the ball to be played, and took it so cleanly with that right foot. Biggest differences for this side this year was the depth they had coming off the bench this year, something they didn't have prior years. Bellarabee, Bellarabee around a man, Bellarabee denied by the foot of weight. What a save. Ryan James, the former Riverhound, wins Birmingham a throw, and that brings the first 15 minutes of stoppage time to a close. And here we go. 106th minute tonight from Protective Stadium in Birmingham, Alabama. Lapa went down, referee allows play to continue and got in the way of Aravo. Aravo down behind the play, Pittsburgh attacking. Yang across the face of goal, it's in! It's Kizza again for the second time tonight. Edward Kizza levels the match. I do think the referee's feeling it as well. He's going to take a minute or two here just to collect himself because he got hit in the head. A huge break for Pittsburgh as Kizza started the attack. And the defensive midfielder for Birmingham was down. And Kizza, who started the attack, eventually Mike finishes it as well. Kizza has been Mr. Instant Impact. Nearly his first touch in the game scored. And now the second time the ball got served into him, he's put that in the back of the net as at midfield ready to enter the game. Yeah. You have to think that's in relation to penalty kicks, which are going to come up here if nobody can find a winner in the last few minutes. Brad Oakle, the 36-year-old, also the goalkeeping coach here in Birmingham. It's going to be replaced. It is Trevor Spangenberg. Steady lobs it shorts. Yang's cross on the ground. Martinez was found trying to clear it away from trouble. And it looks like Kizza is going to be shown a yellow car. Lobbed into the penalty area. Danger around the six yard box and finally cleared away by the Legion. And that brings extra time to a close. It's come down to this. And Cronali's denied by weight. Another monster stop. 
for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds goalkeeper to get this shootout started. The biggest moment of his year so far against Trevor Spangenberg. Sims scores, Pittsburgh in front after round one. Long run up for the Brazilian. Lapa's denied as well. Wait stops a second. Coming up huge. Griffin is ready. And Griffin scores. Sent Spangenberg the wrong way. Pittsburgh up 2-0 through two rounds. For one of the best fullbacks in the USL this year. Dean does the job. Birmingham alive thanks to their fullback. And Dequa scores again. A dangerous penalty, but very well taken. Put it to keep his current club alive against his former club. James scores. Never a doubt from Ryan James. Cicerone denied by Spangenberg. Legion FC alive. Experienced players in the league. Hits it pretty well, but Trevor Spangenberg reads it. And Enzo Martinez make a third consecutive. Martinez scores. And it's the Cameroonian William E. Yang. Can he send Pittsburgh through? He can't! Spangenberg again! Goalkeepers tonight have been fantastic. We head to round six. It's the Englishman Sadiq Balarabi. Never a doubt from Balarabi. Ibora against Spangenberg. How about that from Ibarra to send us to round seven? Round seven, the Alabama native Jake Roof. And Roof does the job. And another defender for Birmingham Legion. Arturo Ordonez to keep this shootout going. And he does. Donez drives it down the middle of the goal. He's had a brilliant night. Mikey Lopez to start round eight. Lopez scores. Wow, how did he slide it by weight? To take for Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Kelly slots it home. Neither side giving an inch. What a shootout this is. The Birmingham captain, Fonwell Cavita. Cavita scores. How about these Birmingham defenders in this PK shootout? Shootout going. Keep Pittsburgh's hopes alive. Peters, yes. Just his eighth game all season. And DuPont is saved. Wait, his third stop of the shootout. You have to feel good. But when it doesn't go in, it's certainly not a comfortable feeling as his teammates. Keza scores. Pittsburgh are through to the Eastern Conference semis in one of the best USL championship playoff games you'll ever see. And then on the 10th and final penalty kick, seals the victory in front of a huge partisan crowd.